Ever wondered what forms the backbone of our modern nation-state system? It's a concept so ingrained in today's world that we often take it for granted. It's the idea of sovereignty, the principle that within each nation's borders there's a supreme authority, a final decision-maker. Sovereignty is more than just a political buzzword, it's the bedrock on which our modern world is built. It's the reason why nations exist as distinct entities, each with its own set of laws and governance. Sovereignty answers the question of who holds the legitimate authority within a territory, and in doing so, it underpins the entire fabric of international relations. In essence, sovereignty is the glue that holds the world's political map together, giving shape and substance to the complex web of nation-states that we see today. To understand the roots of this, we need to travel back in time to the year 1648, to the signing of the Treaty of Westphalia. The journey to Westphalia was a long and bloody one, marked by the Thirty Years' War. This conflict which raged from 1618 to 1648, was one of the most destructive in European history, and its repercussions continue to shape our world today. The Thirty Years' War was a maelstrom of political, religious and territorial disputes. It began as a religious war primarily between the Protestant and Catholic states in the Holy Roman Empire. But as time went on, it morphed into a broader power struggle, with countries like France, Sweden, Spain and Denmark jumping into the fray, each with their own ambitions and agendas. The war was a brutal one, characterized by widespread devastation and loss of life. It was a war fought not just on battlefields but also in villages, towns and cities across Europe. The war saw the use of mercenary armies who often plundered and pillaged the very lands they were supposed to protect. The result was a continent scarred by war, its people weary and desperate for peace. But amidst the chaos the conflict also precipitated significant shifts in Europe's political landscape. It exposed the limitations of religious unity as a basis for political order and highlighted the need for a new system of governance, one that recognized and respected the sovereignty of individual states. The war also underscored the futility of trying to establish a single dominant power in Europe. The ambitions of the Habsburgs who sought to consolidate their control over the Holy Roman Empire were thwarted, paving the way for a more balanced distribution of power. The seeds of change were thus sown in the blood-soaked soil of Europe, setting the stage for the landmark Treaty of Westphalia. This historic agreement which marked the end of the Thirty Years' War would forever alter the course of world history, establishing the principles of state sovereignty that continue to shape the modern nation-state system. And so, after thirty years of devastation, the European powers were ready for peace, leading to the historic Treaty of Westphalia. The Treaty of Westphalia, signed in 1648, marked a turning point in world history. This groundbreaking agreement, inked in the German provinces of Munster and Osnabrück, put an end to the devastating Thirty Years' War that had ravaged Europe. At the heart of the Treaty of Westphalia was the recognition of the sovereignty of states, a concept that was revolutionary for its time. Sovereignty meant that each state had the authority to govern itself, free from external interference. This was a major departure from the prevailing systems of governance, where larger entities often held sway over smaller ones. Beyond recognizing state sovereignty, the Treaty of Westphalia also established the principle of non-intervention. Essentially, this meant that states were not to interfere in the affairs of other states, a principle that remains a cornerstone of international law today. In essence, the Treaty of Westphalia laid the groundwork for the modern nation-state system. It set the precedent for a world made up of independent sovereign states, each with its own laws, customs and governance structures. This was a radically new way of organizing human societies, and it would forever change the course of history. The Treaty of Westphalia not only ended the Thirty Years' War, but also set the stage for the world as we know it today. The echoes of Westphalia can still be heard in our world today. The principles set forth in that historic treaty continue to govern the way nations interact, each respecting the other's sovereignty. It's the bedrock of international law, defining borders, setting norms and providing a framework for diplomatic relations. So next time you think about your country, remember that its existence and its rights stem from a treaty signed nearly four centuries ago. The Treaty of Westphalia, a cornerstone of our modern world. I